What's the best telescope to use for research? Is it the Keck in Hawaii? The VLT in Chile? Is the best telescope for research even on this planet? And why would you go through the trouble to put a telescope in space? Well, this is your space pod for August 21st, 2015. The concept of a space telescope is far from being a new one. In 1946, nearly a decade before that first orbit by Sputnik 1, an American theoretical physicist by the name of Lyman Spitzer had the idea to put a telescope in orbit so that it may do optical observations of the universe. Spitzer was a tireless advocate for the idea of a space observatory, and finally he saw his idea come to fruition with the now famous Hubble Space Telescope. There's some really good reasons as to why you'd want to put your telescope into space. The first and foremost of those is the atmosphere of the Earth. It's what causes stars to twinkle and astronomers to rip their hair out. That's assuming that you have the hair to rip out. To better explain how the atmosphere ruins things for telescopes here on the ground, let's cool off with a pool session. When it comes to the wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum, that big scientific word meaning light, some of those are actually blocked by our atmosphere. Visible light and radio are the two with the least amount of interference when it comes through the atmosphere to the surface. But wavelengths of great importance like microwave, infrared, ultraviolet, x-ray, and gamma rays are nearly if not completely filtered out by our atmosphere. Placing your instruments in space allows for detection of these wavelengths. Not to mention, since space is, in general, considered a frictionless environment, the ability to operate with minimal vibration and extremely accurate pointing allows for the sharpest images to be taken. Telescopes on the ground are beginning to reach tantalizingly close to the resolution levels of visible light space-based observatories through a technique called adaptive optics, which we'll discuss in a later space pod. Thanks for watching this space pod. I'm Jared Head. Don't forget to like comment, and subscribe to us on social media. And if you got a little extra change, make it rain into our Patreon campaign. We can use all the help that we can to make these amazing space pods for you. So, until the next space pod, keep exploring.